I will meet with every player individually, and we will discuss in detail on what we want to see in each player's improvement. And the great thing about my job is our guys love to love love the gym, love to get better, love to improve, and and all of our guys. I have not. I don't have any concern over one guy. Uh, this guy, you know, he might not he might not give us the summer effort. Our guys love the gym. They're gonna get they're gonna get better. But there's every every player has different areas of improvement. Um, but all the guys definitely need to come back better. Perk says he was is gonna visit you this summer. Plans to you and Russ. What are your plans for the summer? And where will it take place? Will you go East Coast? Will you stay home? A little, a little bit of both. You know, I'll stay home. A lot of guys are definitely coming to L.A., you know, to visit me and Russ. You know, just just hang out, you know, play play some basketball, pick up maybe. Um, you know, and then go to the East Coast, you know, and visit, you know, those guys, you know, Kevin, and Daquan, you know, just, just everyone. So it'll be a little bit, a lot of traveling, you know, throughout the entire team. I think it was either from the All-Star break or from the trade deadline, you were the highest scoring reserve in the league. Did that just evolve that way? Were you aware of that? I didn't know. I didn't know. I was just, you know, the opportunity opened up for me. You know, I was just trying to, you know, take advantage of, of the opportunity. You know, I got a, l a little bit more touches. You know, the ball, the basketball was in my hand a little bit more. So I just tried to take advantage of it. You know, I didn't I didn't have any clue of, you know, being a, the highest, you know, bench scorer since the break. I was just trying to contribute to my team. Well, it was a great season. I think we did a good job of just staying together as a team, you know, a lot of different things happen throughout the year. And um, it's definitely great to see how, you know, how far we've come as, a, as an organization. You know, it was times yesterday when, you know, uh, it was in the third quarter and we was up three. And, you know, we were turning the ball over and guys were hanging their heads. And I'm like, it's not. So, I'm telling them it's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everybody could do it. It's supposed to be hard. It's the time you're supposed to dig deep, you know, keep grinding. And uh, one thing about the last night game, I felt like we uh, we emptied our clips. We won no more bullets. We went down fighting. Uh, that's all you can ask. So um, it's definitely hard. And I, I tried to warn, the, warn them before the playoffs started that it's not easy getting to the finals and it's not easy winning the championship. Really fun to be a part of this turnaround, and um, you know this was another step this year. We we made another step forward, I think, and uh, you know from now from now on, I think we're we're at a place where we really now we know we have ability, like we know we have pretty we have most of our personnel in place. Now we have to get better at at the little things and winning games and executing. And um, we were a long ways away from being where we needed to be to win this series, I think by losing 3-1. I mean, that's what that tells us that that um, we were, you know, we were unable to to win games in this series. So, um, I think going forward, you know, all the stuff from going from losing to to winning and as much fun as that was, now we're at a point where we really need to focus on our our level of play. I think that's the biggest thing now coming into next year. We always got to be concerned with how we're playing. Um, are we getting better at things that are our weaknesses and cuz we're going to need them when playoff time comes around. You took a lot of extra practice shots, and you guys were one of the highest scoring teams in the league. Do you wish more was asked of you offensively, in just terms of the everyday mm -hmm. offense? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I think not, you know, not on a individual level, but I think just also for the team, uh, especially you know being in the starting unit. I think you know taking the load off of uh, Katie and Russell sometimes uh, be good, you know, just to get a. Uh, something a little bit different than you know, um, KV and Russell having to 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 do most of the work all the time. Um, they, they're great players and 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 you know they really carried us. But I think you know uh, I, I I could do a little bit more to help the team offensively.